Welcome to Revolt Update. My name is Silas at Take 4 and thanks for watching. A Revolt Update brings you all the high moments of the weekly event on uh, the revolution, uh, the Amazonian revolution for the restoration of the statehood of Southern Cameroon or Amazonia. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel Revolt Up and uh, also follow us on Twitter and on uh, Update Revolt. Uh, for every comment and interactions with our channel. Welcome back. There has been an uproar in the uh, Kondingi uh, maximum security prison in Cameroon where uh, thousands of Ambazonian uh, prisoners of war by, by La Republic to Cameroon are being held hostage. Uh, the prison conditions in this particular facility are so deplorable and has been like that for decades. Uh, international organizations and news reports have always had uh, the, the, the statistics and the conditions of the Kondengi maximum security prisons uh, are known to the rest of the world. Unfortunately, no uh, action from the international community or uh, the uh, Cameroon authorities have been put in place to make sure that prison conditions in uh, La Republic to Cameroon uh, uh, meet international human rights standards. Uh, yesterday saw uh, an uproar by, particularly by the Ambazonian prisoners of war held hostage in uh, this Kondengi maximum security prison in La Republic to Cameroon where they staged a protest decrying the inhumane conditions that the, the, the detainees and prisoners in that facility were uh, suffering from, coupled with their illegal detention over at that facility. So this incident uh, 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 got vi uh, videos that went viral. from the diaspora and on uh, ground zero in Amazonia have been sending congratulatory messages to all the, the, the defiant Amazonian uh, men and women held hostage in that facility. Uh, the incident later escalated uh, towards the evening time. Military attacked uh, uh, these protesters the, Am the Ambazonian protesters who were also joined by uh, uh, La Republic prisoners who were um, protesting, who joined the protest also uh, in condemnation of uh, what the Cameroon um, uh, government is doing in Ambazonia as well as uh, the prison condition for which uh, they find themselves in their own country. And um, uh, this action sparked uh, an, an uproar which escalated uh, yesterday evening with um, uh, Cameroon security forces storming the prison yard and shooting as usual uh, randomly uh, uh, apparently uh, uh, killing uh, some of the, the prisoners and uh, wounding others so uh, we've been told they started shooting they started but we are resolute. It is time. This prison will not contain us. Yes, because you cannot catch freedom. Yes, this. Today, 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 we are going to do a camp. 
independently verify uh, all of those claims and uh, uh, we have lost contact with uh, some of the Amazonian prisoners that were held in that facility others who 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 are still there tell us that some of uh, these Amazonian prisoners were, were 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 moved out of the facility blindfolded by Cameroon military uh unsure of where these uh Amazonian prisoners of war were being taken to. So at this moment, a, a revolt update is calling on the international community to uh, ask La Republic du Cameroon to immediately uh, uh, produce all Amazonian prisoners of con uh, con uh, all Amazonian prisoners of war uh, held in that were held in that facility. We want all of them documented and presented uh, to the people because at this moment that we speak. We are we, we we are afraid for their lives, and we want a proof that they are all uh, safe and sound. For uh, protesting is uh, uh, also their right to protest the inhumane conditions, and so demanding that right is uh, uh, legal, is justified, and uh, Cameroon must abide by uh, 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 international and moral law to uh, uh, keep everybody in their custody excuse me safe and sound and uh, again we are demanding that cameroon uh, uh minister of justice uh, uh, immediately produce all ambazonian prisoners of uh war that were held in that facility we want a full record and an investigation i, I, I will definitely uh, bring forward to you pictures from uh, this facility so that uh, you who is just listening to this story for the first time would just have a glimpse of uh, what, uh, why uh, prisoners uh, would be protesting and uh, this and um, what's done concentration camps I would say uh, some of the pictures will really really be traumatizing and um viewer discretions are always always advised for anything that is coming out of cameroon in the name of uh, a human rights violation they are always very graphic the, the Kondengi central uh, prison has always been like that uh, and the reports that uh, veteran journalists have put out there have not been heeded to this facility was built uh, for uh, um, less than uh, 700 uh, uh, inmates, but today uh, it was already crowd overcrowded before uh, uh, the 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 beginning of the uh, uh, Amazonian La Republic conflict. Uh, uh, with the mass abduction of Amazonians uh, from Amazonia and uh, uh, ferrying them to La Republic to Cameroon uh, dungeons, uh, this has caused the overcrowding the overcrowding crisis in these facilities to to skyrocket so we have a, a, a facility that was built for about 700 inmates now containing thousand inmates and uh, uh, so his health situation over there is terrible and the the worst prison conditions that you can find anywhere uh, around the world so again uh those images we were discretion is advised and we call on the Cameroon authorities again to produce all Amazonian uh, prisoners of war held in their captivity we have all of them uh, 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 documented with us and we will be cross-checking to make sure that every single Amazonian prisoner of war is accounted for uh, this is the time that uh, Amazonians would not take any nonsense from uh, 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 the the Cameroon authorities. We have 
they have been held illegally and yet uh, their, their, their humanity still being violated. Uh, what else can be worse than to be in such a situation? Again, we salute all of these uh, uh, gentlemen and women for their bravery and their courage to stand up for human rights and not to die uh, like ships and to hold the Cameroon authorities responsible. Thank them for letting the world know. And we call on Amnesty International that uh, uh, has the jurisdiction to comment on issues like this to take responsibilities. Human Rights Watch, uh, it is past time for you to sit on the fence and begin to, 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 to make commentaries. It is time for action and a, a, a Cameroon should pay a price for all of these atrocities. We saw uh, 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 during that protest, uh, we saw inmates that were, whose bodies were ironed out with, uh, 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 with, with, with hot metal and burn their backs and their arms and their bodies and uh, 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 break their bones, break their heads inside a prison. So this is gross violation and unacceptable that even the International Criminal Court has to speak on this matter, we hope. Again, uh, that incident which later escalated, that protest which later escalated in the nighttime, uh, apparently with uh, some inmates, uh, uh, with, with, with uh, inmates being shot at, and apparently uh, uh, some unconfirmed reports say uh, four inmates died and several others uh, have are wounded. There is also a report about another same uh, 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 uproar in the Boya Central Prison in Ambazonia. Uh, this uh, uh, facility is also. Um, uh, managed and controlled by the occupying of uh, La Republic du Cameroon uh, regime in Ambazonia, uh, who have been oppressing and oppressing the people and committing genocide as we speak. Uh, before the very eyes of the international community, the prison conditions in Boya are not different from the ones in uh, uh, Kondingi, and it is the same for all the prisons operated by the Cameroon regime of Paul Bia. So again, this is an international matter. Uh, we are hoping that the international community will respond like uh, uh, they will respond with the utmost seriousness that this and the attention that this uh, uh, situation deserves. The idea of just uh, making echoes and disappearing into thin air should not be uh, the same pattern that we will see again. The international community should act now and act fast. Gross human rights violations are going on, even with the killings and the genocide that is ongoing. It is high time uh, uh, the United Nations sent a fact-finding mission and every other partner out there who is uh, 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 looking forward for a peaceful resolution of this conflict should be emphasizing uh, uh, the, the idea of a fact-finding mission and the cessation of hostilities. This has to be the priority of everybody. The propositions that you all are making are quite lofty, but nothing is going to happen if there is no ceasefire. So, uh, and there are concrete steps that all international partners can do right now as I am speaking to make sure that uh, such a ceasefire occur. Uh, uh, from uh, my own end and my inquiries from all the Ambazonian uh, leadership and uh, partners, they are well ready whenever the international community uh, 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 gives a convincing signal that uh, 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 Cameroon will not attack uh, uh, Ambazonians, that Cameroon will uh, 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 cease fire and, and, and uh, uh, go to negotiations. There's also the question of uh, school resumption. With all the chaos that is going on, uh, UNICEF must take its responsibility to push uh, the, 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 the question of over 700,000 school children who are not attending school, uh, at, who have not attended school for three years. This is unacceptable. This is not uh, uh, the, 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 the sort of issues that the UNICEF will take a backseat. And uh, the UNICEF 
can push this, uh, can make this uh, 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 issue a central point in the, the UN General Assembly uh, 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 agenda that should be discussed and trashed by all uh, peace-loving nations according to international law. Because the, the, the conflict between uh, uh, La Republic of Cameroon or French Cameroon and Southern Cameroon uh, or Amazonia is vested in uh, uh, history and international law. That is the simple, it is quite a simple matter, which, I, like I said, can be resolved in the twinkle of an eye. It only needs the courage and the goodwill of, uh, and, and the sincerity of uh, all partners. Ambazonia is ready and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, any nation and the United Nations to act and save uh, humanity before uh, uh, worse than another Rwanda is recorded. A genocide is ongoing and it is past time for the international community to act. The vote update.